Hi, welcome to another wonderful and fabulous interview with the Jackie Jackson from the Jackie Jackson Show. Business coach, expert, mentor, and entrepreneur here to share with you some exciting information of how you can convert your passion, your purpose, and into profit, okay? So that's what this show is all about, providing you with the information that allows you to be your best you. And today, I have my really, really good friend, Sherry Summers. And oh. Sherry, hi, Sherry. Hi, Jackie. Finally, right? <laughs> I know, right? I know. Um, I met Sherry uh, a few years ago at a real estate event, right? Both Sherry and I correct, were correct. investors, and we just became friends ever since. Like, we just never, we were like inseparable. <laughs> yes, I'll never forget that day. <laughs> I, I know, I'm so excited to have you on the show. Um, there's so much information that you can share and help with the Jackie Jackson audience, but before we do that, I really need to let everyone know who you really, really are. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You got your uh, Kimora Simmons look on. Right? I hear that all the time. <laughs> Fabulous. I hear that all the time. And I need everyone to really know outside of the beautiful <laughs> exterior who you really, really are. So Sherry is president of Sherry Summers um, Unlimited Services. Okay. <laughs> company specializes in property preservation yes. and that is in itself like a beautiful thing and you're going to talk more about that so I won't right. you know, go into that right now but more importantly one of the other Sherry's passions is helping ex-offenders right get into Correct. back into the community and be productive individuals back into society again helping them get jobs helping them go through the process of um, just basically decompressing from that traumatic experience that they went through through the criminal justice system and helping them get back into society and become productive individuals and so much so that sherry has been to the white house yeah. not once but twice <laughs> okay <laughs> In the programs that she has created over there in Brevard County. And that's where um, your business is located is in Brevard County, Florida. So you know what? She's kind of a big deal. All right. <laughs> I yeah. love it. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> you've gotten your fabulous pen. Mine is fabulous because that's just me. The Jackie Jack, I do everything like big. Just everything. Yes, you do. That is correct. I can confirm that. Yeah. So if you haven't gotten your pen, and your, you know, uh, notepad. I'm gonna get my notepad. So this is my beautiful notepad. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Dr. Stacia. Right. Mine's single light. <laughs> Shout out, Dr. Stacia. Dr. Stacia, love you. <laughs> a notepad, as well as a pen to write down some information. Guess what you are? You are wrong. You're wrong, right? <laughs> so you need to put us on pause for a quick second and then go get you a pen and get you some paper because we're about to change your life right now. Agreed. For free. <laughs> the Jackie Jackson Show, you heard it here first. This is life-changing information. Correct. Make sure that you get your life right and write it down because this information right here is definitely life-changing. So welcome to the show, Sherry. Ah. How you doing? I am wonderful. Thank you so much for having me. I know our schedule was kind of crazy and it takes us a while to finally get it together. So I appreciate you taking the time out to interview me and I hope you guys hear some nuggets today that you can share and um, use and implement because that's what we're about making sure prosperity to come and stay in your life forever exactly and you know what that right there deserves a round of applause <laughs> I love it <laughs> prosperity coming in your life and Staying in your life, right? Forever. Exactly. Forever. 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 Correct. Right? Right? Yes. <laughs> so that's the topic of our show today is uh, Sherry and I are going to be discussing prosperity, how to call in, how to call in. Call your, in. Your money, everything that is Cash in, flow. <laughs> in your life, right? So there are people right now that are struggling. There are people right now that don't know what direction they want to go in. There are people right now that are looking for answers and they want 
to understand where to go, how to do it, where to do it. And that's the reason why I created this show, to answer those specific questions of how you can call in and bring in prosperity and really keep that um, wealth in your life so that you can have it. So Sherry, I know that you got a wealth of information to share with us. And my first question to you is, oh my goodness, you're a mom, you're a wife, you are... <laughs> entrepreneur you are out there changing the world and writing programs for um for ex-offenders like how do you do it all and still be profitable and juggle all of these different tasks how do you do it you know what it's not easy right but someone has to do it right someone has to do it i think it's important that you find your purpose and you pursue your purse whatever you're passionate about find it your passion will fulfill you and it will automatically becomes your purpose and helping people i mean you know that success story we can make all of the money in the world but at the end of the day when you reach your heavenly father you want to say you want to hear that word well done good and faithful servant so that's what i strive for yes and yeah you get that, that pat on the back ah, yeah that pat on the back <laughs> job well done yeah, you know. <laughs> On earth, you were flawless. Right. Yeah, I love that shirt, by the way. <laughs> yes, I need to order that. <laughs> mm -hmm. So as we talk about prosperity, a lot of people, you know, they really have um, mixed feelings or maybe even a misunderstanding of what that really means. Do you want to share um, what you define prosperity as? Very, very good question. Um, in regards to prosperity, it's having that mind shift that your life can change immediately, immediately by just a thought, one thought. That's all it takes, right? right? To start having a prosperity life. And, and just a, a shift of the mind of changing the way you think, changing words that sit, you come out your mouth, changing how your outcome is or positive outcome, that alone in itself will start automatically bring prosperity in your life. Because once you have that, once you have that small, small thing, your prosperity will start automatically flourish day by day. So all we ask you to do is just take one step and just have a small thought of positivity and mindset and make positive things come out your mouth. And that's the thing about prosperity for me. Oh my goodness, you hit the nail right on the head because I have interviewed quite a few entrepreneurs, right? And I've had the opportunity and the, uh, basically the blessing, right? The position to be able to interview <sighs> and speak to so many different people from so many different walks of life. And every time mm -hmm. I have spoken with anyone that has experienced any level of success, they say the same thing. It started with their mindset. Once they yeah. made up their mind that they wanted to be rich, that they wanted to be successful, that they were going to go after their passion, that they were going to figure out their purpose and actually walk in it, no matter if they were scared to do it, that is when everything started changing. Like everything in their world started to align and then they started to experience success. So it does start with a mindset shift. And when did that happen for you? Because a lot of people, it doesn't really happen like overnight. You know, some people are like, well, what am I supposed to think? What am I supposed to do? Right. So how do, how do you work on that? Correct. And people love to say like something dramatic happened. Oh, something happened. I had a death in the family or, or someone passed away or so I got in a car accident or something. God changed my life. I think as you go through life, there are bits and pieces of things that have happened, like a masterpiece yeah. that come together that occur. It's not one particular moment because sometimes it's embedded inside of you and you don't know because you have not been open to opportunity. That's why it's important that if there's something that you want to do in your life, go to where that thing is already being established and see it. It, right and once you see it one time it will start activating some things in your life so, it's, so to answer your question it's not that one thing I know I did not want to live paycheck to paycheck right I, I knew that from day one right I, I, I love to travel I, I have a passion for traveling I, I love fine wines I love certain things so I know know that my paycheck cannot sustain the type of lifestyle that I love, the, the prosperity or the abundance that I love, love. So something I had to give. I had to make some sacrifices somewhere. That's the mind shift to know that eventually I'm going to have prosperity. But it's not one thing. It's your daily routines that turns to ritual, as Dr. Stacey Pearson say, that automatically move you eventually day by day. It's the routine of doing certain things that eventually you, you start seeing things like, oh, Okay, you know, so it's not, I can't say it's one moment. I say it's different things. Maybe reading a book or, or you know, reading a, a writing a, in a journal or something that eventually, or seeing something changing in your life slowly. But so it's different moments 
or memories in your life that created that that prosperity for me absolutely and what you reminded me of i uh created for everyone and um i'll put the link in the bottom of this video here on uh, 19 success strategy tips okay so oh, wow. awesome you gotta get that guys gotta get that guy and it's actually <laughs> series so how cool is that so you get to awesome. see oh, wow <laughs> so a 19 a video success uh, strategy tips where each day I share with um, the Jackie Jackson audience and anyone who's interested in just abundance and success and prosperity what to do in order to bring prosperity and ensure that they are successful because successful people actually practice success Correct. Exactly. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Meditation, yeah. rituals. Correct. Exactly. Right. And rituals are just um, what I would describe as repeated tasks, repetitive mm -hmm. tasks, things that you do every single day that actually adds to your improvement of your life. Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Uh, in, in my case, one of the things every morning that I've been doing is the first thing when I and then wake, wake up, and this is your nugget, guys, nuggets, time to write. One of the things that I have done and has brought tremendous, tremendous prosperity to my life yes. is my morning routines. Well, I know I work also full-time job, so I know for me to be able to run a, 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 a company and not be present, I have to have systems and tools in place. So I have to have the right mindset to get up in the morning and have it running, correct? Mm -hmm. So therefore, in the morning time, I start with my meditation. I have to meditate early in the morning. Early for me is three or three thirty, sometimes four o'clock. That's what time. Yes, that's what time that's I get early, up. Sherry. That's <laughs> real early. Yes, it is. It is early for me, but I know that's just a short-term sacrifice for long-term goals. Amen. So, <laughs> so therefore, in the morning times, I I meditate in um. During my meditation, I have a vision and a plan of where I want to go. So what I'm doing is just listening for answers from God to see where he wants my life to direct me. After the meditation, I say my affirmations. Yeah. And after my affirmations, I make sure I journal down the information that I was given during my meditation. Sometimes it's nothing, which is okay, which tell me, keep on going. You know, <laughs> just keep on going. You're on the right track. It's just like a GPS. It don't speak until it's time for you to turn, right? Right, just, right. It stays <laughs> <laughs> yes. turn, and then it starts speaking again when you miss your turn doesn't it oh yes I, you know that is so true you brought, you brought up a good point that sometimes things happen because even in, from our failures we can learn right failures are just things that say get back on the right track you just you, you go over here you take the information that you learn and you're taught and you apply it later on but that's my morning routine it's just meditation affirmation and journaling i start that all hell could be breaking loose somewhere else i don't even take a phone call onto that even in my life i don't take a phone call unless it's business related until one o'clock and, so, <laughs> and you know what that takes a lot of discipline so we're going to go over that uh morning ritual real quickly and there's a lot to be said in my success strategy my 19 uh, video oh. series, Success Strategy, I do mention meditation, mm -hmm. journal, journalizing, as well as saying affirmations as well, too. So you're definitely on the right track, and there's so much more that can be done, and it also can be customized, but that is such a cool start for anyone that is looking to bring in prosperity and success in their life. So right. how does meditation actually help you? Because when people think about meditation, a lot of times they're thinking about like yoga, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yes, uh, yes, yes. One foot, patting their head and rubbing their stomach at the same time and like trying to stand on like their tippy toes, right? So <laughs> Correct. You know, I, it's funny you say that because I get that all the time. Do I say Musa, Umbaya or something? No. Well, the, one of the things with meditation is most of the breathing techniques. And, one, and, and I even have um, some of the um, individuals that I, I assist at work, I have them do meditation too because it centerizes you. Um, if you think about someone too who... Um, I've, I've heard of, of testimonies of, of inmates who's been in prison on death row mm -hmm. and they have 23 day, night, day and night in, in jail locked up and they get one hour to come out and breathe. Wow. But in that time, in that 23 hours, um, they have they spend there meditating. And I've heard of stories um, and I read books of where the, the court case was got turned around, you know, and it was through meditation. Now, keep in mind, they have no power to talk to someone, right? So all their power just send out the energy from their meditation to touch someone or, mm. or speak to someone. It, it, it goes beyond us. It's a way of fighting without physically fighting, right? So um, 
that you got that way of fighting without Wait a minute write that one down yes <laughs> yes, yes. Right? it's fighting without physically touching anything right exactly without a physical force exactly <laughs> how else how best to do it? you can't get in trouble for that you know you can't get locked up for that there's, you know there's no charges that can be brought against you for that it's, it's and it's freely given right it's freely given so when it comes to uh meditation in morning time is and and for you to think and take your next move, you have to have a clear view. How can you have a clear view if you're always rambling or if your mind is always going? Because the first time when you begin, you think about everything else. My child's school fee needs to be paid. The mortgage needs to be paid. Did I, am I late on this? Am I going to be late for work? You know, you're thinking about all these things that's supposed to be, you think, you think supposed to happen now. And so with meditation, it slows things down. If you're not going by a clock you're actually running the clock. The clock is not running you. Mm. And that's powerful because if you have your day already set out and you, you're meditating, God will be able to tell you what your next move is, but he can't speak to you if you're busy talking. Because you're not listening. Because you're not listening. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. You're continuously speaking physically, physiologically. You can't <laughs> speak and listen at the same time. That's just not how our sensory is. Correct. Right? So you Correct. Have I'm a student of listening and it's not so much listening to others but listening to your inner voice yes yes because that voice is very very low and it will not compete with anything other correct you made a good point you says not just listening to others because uh, everyone has a story um in in a we have a cleaning company and i'm involved with a whole bunch of cleaning groups in on facebook and we can ask a question and people from canada is going to give you their Opinion, and they don't even live in Florida, right? So my mom used to say, you take the chicken and you know to throw it a bone. You know to eat the chicken, eat the good part, and you throw it a bone. It's, right. it's kind of the same thing. So there's so many people talking, you don't know who to listen to or who to believe for what works in Canada doesn't work in Florida. It's not even um, the same market, right? It, uh, exactly. You know, so therefore, how who do you listen to? And that's when it comes to your energy, your, your inner man that will tell you. It cannot, your gut feeling, not your emotions, because the emotions sway. It goes up and down, but your inner man lit will tell you. And if you don't listen, something will happen that say, oh yeah, I should have listened. So that's what meditation is about. Because then when you're in meditation and you're listening, you're talking and your affirmation, all that, whatever is coming up against you, especially on Monday mornings, we call them, you have the force to defend it because you already you already had the whole armor already put on before you step out, right? Because your staff is going to call you this broke down and I forgot this and I, I dropped this, you know, the piano broke or something. So if you are starting off with your meditation, you're not supposed to lose it. It goes throughout with you till the next day. And that's, that's the important of being, just like you exercise every day to stay physical, the flesh has to also stay physical in meditation. So that's, that's very important. Wow. And just a quick reminder, we are on the Jackie Jackson show. Yes, yes. Right? <laughs> Jackson show with Jackie Jackson, yours truly, a business expert, coach, mentor, and entrepreneur. And I'm interviewing Miss Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful Sherry Somers from Sherry Somers Unlimited Services. And unlimited is what she is. There is no... <laughs> this young lady here and we are talking about uh, prosperity and how to obtain it how to actually maintain it right once you actually right. have it and keep it for life so we're talking about meditation we've already discussed that and you also your second your second um advice is affirmations right that's affirmations. All your morning routine so what are some of the affirmations that you say as part of your success routine Great question. Great. If you didn't get anything in meditation, you have to get affirmation because affirmation to me is where your biggest struggle is because here you are the re the right way to meditate, um, to, to have affirmation or speak affirmation is you're speaking as if you already have the thing that you want. Absolutely. That is, there goes this mind shift again because you have to convince your mind to go there. I was telling some guys yesterday when I was talking to them, I said, your mind can only, it, can, it, people think that you imagine something and then you do it. Technically, no. Your emotions, the things that you do, that you set out to do, tells your mind what you want to create. So through your journaling, through your, your writing, you, you're telling your mind what I want to see. But the mind 
don't really direct you based on your your people you surround yourself with the mind gives started creating that like a masterpiece oh this is where you want to go right you got your keys you put your keys into the car and your keys is saying your car is saying, okay i guess you want me to crank up the car so we're going to work that's what you tell your mind but your mind didn't tell you that you are doing these actions that tells your mind what to do i, I don't want you to miss that because what happened is people think, oh, my mind tells me, because they, we always say it's a thought. And it's correct. We have a thought. Your mind can only go where you tell your mind to go. That's what your mind is designed to, to do. So one of the things we struggle with with affirmation is how can we say these things if we, doesn't, if we don't have it? One, sometimes we feel like we, we're not worthy of yeah. it, mm -hmm. you know? And, and so sometimes it takes for us to keep saying these things over and over. There goes a routine again for us to start believing it. Once you start saying it, you got to convince your mind, first of all. Then your mind will say, okay, you said it. You're doing the work. You're taking the action. I have no, no choice but to line up with the things that you're saying. You know, if you think of an architect, um, so a, a client come to him and says, hey, I want you to build me a bank. He's going to ask these questions. What do you want with your bank? What do you want what for is your vision? What, what is your vision, right? You can see at the end state of that product, right? So you Correct. end in mind. And that's what the positive affirmations are. Correct. About, is to actually say what you want and call it as if it already occurred. Yes, and that and we struggle. We, we we can do the meditation. We can see the big house. We can see the home. We can see the place we want to travel to. But now speaking it as if, and if you're not the type of person or actor who can feel it, speak it that that part that you got the role that you have to play, it's right. hard. And we struggle with that because, and I think we struggle with that because we don't ever believe that we deserve it, or we, we don't ever believe it, right? that we that it can happen. Yes, someone in our journey somewhere told us that our dream was silly. Exactly. Someone deterred us from dreaming and told us that that's silly. You're never going to accomplish that. What are you talking about? Go get yourself a real job. Get you a nine to five. <laughs> exactly. Something stable. You know, go to school, get a degree, and get exactly. a stable job with good benefits. And you know what? That's not really bad advice, but it's not the only advice, right? Correct, correct, correct. And when you follow that simple advice, there's still more to yeah. it that you're missing. There's so many more pieces to it that you're missing. So that's why you find a lot of people who are working right now are so unhappy because they were unable to apply additional principles within that working concept in order exactly. to have their most fulfilling and prosperous life. Like you don't have to be an entrepreneur in order for you to be successful and to have a rich and prosperous life. You can be the best employee on the planet and love what you do and what's your job. But that is very, very rare. I've spoken to a lot of people and they say, okay, I like my job. I, you know, I make money doing what I do, but I wish I could do something else. Yes. Cause, you know, having a nine to five and great benefits and, and if it works, it's not for everyone, but if it works for you, I applaud you. But the, the thing about having a job is there's always someone, your, your creativity is limited. It is. Um, and and your, your goal or wherever you can take your, you're always having someone stopping you. We don't have enough resources. We don't have enough revenues. And even if you do get a resource, even if you do get revenue uh, and you come with this great thing, you end up with a great plaque. <laughs> right? You don't want a great plaque on the wall. Or which a is certificate. Awesome. No, you get a certificate. And <laughs> yeah. it might be more than maybe your name goes on the wall for a month or two. Or exactly. And, and exactly, and they're, they're, you're using your own time sometimes to create with these things and say, and even even when um, they say, okay, we'll pay you overtime, but you're still trading time for money, yes. right? So you're, you're still missing out on your, your, your child's life, you're still missing out on your family life, and yes, you're getting the money, but after a while, laboring is, is very hard. If you're going to labor, let it be for my business. And there's a limit and cap, especially government jobs. There's a limit and cap that so no matter how successful you are, until there's a step plan, trust me, I know, or until there's a promotion, you are stuck at that level. No matter what someone say or do, no matter how smart you are, there's not a bonus or a thing you can get, right? right. So you're stuck unless you do a, a promotion, which promotion means more money, but more expectations right mm -hmm. but as an entrepreneur we're not limited the sky is the limit for us to create what we want you own that you know your success is based on you your failure is also based on you you know so that that when 
when it comes to affirmation, it's so important because that's where we lose people. We lose people because they have a hard time speaking into existence. I, I speak everything that I want to see. I can tell you what my company is looking like, what my office space is looking like, what I want to see in my office space for my business, my franchise for my business. I speak that, that like it's already here. And, that, and we were doing affirmations wrong for so long you know and because we no one taught us how to properly do it we used to say i want to be debt free no you don't want to be debt free you want an abundance because the word debt is also a negative word right so, so these are go both ways as well too and mm -hmm. people say oh i'm doing my affirmations but what they're saying is that um i'll give you an example of a way that an affirmation is used incorrectly all right um one would say, and I've heard a young lady said this, I was talking to her, I was giving a uh, discovery call, like I, I'm mm -hmm. part of my um, give back and mm -hmm. promise to everyone is to provide um, a 15 to 20 minute discovery call. And when I speak with um, um, these potential clients, I listen to everything that they say, mm -hmm. everything, because that's what I do. And um, as I listened to her, she said to me that, um, you know, when I get money, I will. Or, and then she also said something that on the lines of, I will be paying off my debt when, right? So she put all of these limitations and conditions on when, yes, when, and, and maybe, and I'll try. I mean, these were all of the words that were included in her language. So I listened. And after she was speaking, I said to her, I said, the first thing I need you to do is change your vocabulary, all right? Yeah. I need you to exclude those conditional phrases that you keep using because what you're doing is you are training your mind to accept failure. That's yes, what it correct. Is. Maybe correct. Maybe you'll be successful, correct. maybe correct. you won't, but it's okay. You know, if you try, you maybe you will, maybe <laughs> you won't. You need to be definitive and really own what it is that you want and the real issue there was she was afraid to say what she wanted yes afraid to call a thing a thing and she told me that she wanted to be an international best-selling author right that's what she wanted she's writing a book and she was working on the publishing process so her book is not published as yet so I told her that she needs to include in her affirmations every day by saying, I am, I am a best-selling international author that changes lives of everyone that reads my book. I am a powerful writer with information that is life-changing and people are going to read my book and be blessed because of every word that I have written. That's an affirmation. Yes. <laughs> awesome. That is so different from what she was saying. If you don't have Jackie Jackson, the Jackie Jackson is a coach. You got to get her. Like, she's phenomenal. Great job. Yes. Yeah, and I think she struggled with that because she probably didn't think it was possible. That so is. You don't think you're we possible. Believe that she could be, that she's a best selling author. Not that she could be, but she is a best selling author. Exactly. And if she, if, if it's what she wants and she can't even convince herself, how can anyone else? How can she convince others to take her serious? You Thank know? you so much for watching The Jackie Jackson Show. Sticking with us as I interview Sherry Summers. What you've just watched was a wealth of wisdom from Sherry. She dropped so much information. I hope you wrote it down. So much so that I had to interview Sherry a second time and have her grace us with her wisdom one more time next week. So you were watching part one of Sherry Summers' interview, all right? So in part one, Sherry shared her morning rituals to her success and her prosperity. Number one, meditation. Number two, affirmations. Number three, writing down your vision in your journal because what is written is real. Now stay tuned on The Jackie Jackson Show next week for the second half of Sherry Summers' interview. <music>